Hello, everybody. We are joined by EG, who's coming off of their match against Talon. Please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question, and then we will call on you. We will begin with Michael Zarr from Upcomer. Uh, hi, uh, this will be towards uh, Potter. Uh, off of this whole run so far with the two games you've played, what positives can you take from this tournament headed into reg regular regional league play? Uh, we can take away so many positives, right? Um, you know, we just obviously lost 0-2, but coming into this tournament, I think everyone realized uh, what kind of roster we were. We're definitely developing, and uh, I think we can all be really proud of our performances here this weekend. Obviously, we feel a little bit salty. I feel a little bit salty. I don't think we performed um, up to our own expectations that we kind of set for ourselves. We didn't We didn't really play how we practice um and I think that's very apparent, but again, those are just growing pains and this sort of experience that we got together as a squad this whole two weeks practicing here and playing versus the best of the best, it's going to mean a lot for us for the rest of the year. Thank you. Uh, we'll take the qu next question from Brandon from esports.gg. Thank you. Um, I'll address this to Potter as well, kind of to piggyback off of his question. You know, you guys had the experience of a win and a loss on the international stage here in front of the crowd. I would like to know what the things you're kind of taking away that the team might need to tighten up before the league begins. Uh, anti ecos has definitely been kind of a, a curse for us, a blessing and a curse. Um, but that's definitely something we realized. But I think um, just confidence in each other and confidence um, in the team and, and in the rounds. Um, and I think that takes a little bit of time. So... Looking at that, and um, another positive takeaway is that win that we had. Um, again, these guys were problem solving the whole time, and their communications was, it was amazing. And and I really thought that they really got into a flow state. So we're, we're looking at that, and we're going to try to replicate that um, as soon as the season starts. We'll take the next question from Camus. Hi, yeah, my question is for BCJ. Um, especially later in the, on in the rounds, um, on split, it kind of felt like the lurk wasn't working as much, um, or actually it felt like Talon kind of had a read on it and felt like they were kind of tracking it better. Um, was there ever, were you guys thinking about like maybe like lurking less and just kind of like five manning near the end, or was there a reason you committed more heavily to the lurk? Uh, there's no reason to give away strategy in this press conference, but, um, you know, we have a system and we have a strategy and a game plan and we stick to that game plan no matter what. doesn't matter who we're playing, doesn't matter, you know, what's going on in the game. Uh, so I'm here to do exactly what we practice, and that's why you see me play like I do. Yeah. We'll take the next question from the room. My name is Maria Eduarda from MGG, and my question is for Potter as well. Uh, I just want to know what was the most difficult part from transitioning to analyst from coach, and what do you take from this experience like coaching um, and stage in Brazil so far? Um, the most difficult part about it, probably the time commitment. I think uh, these players, these guys are, they've dedicated their entire lives, right? I think all we do is play Valorant. So definitely the time commitment is kind of um, the thing because I'm a little bit older, <laughs> but, and then, sorry, what was the second question uh, in Brazil? I just want to know what do you take from yourself uh, of these six stages periods, like coaching them live and... Yeah, I, it was an incredible experience. Like I and especially for Corbin, Jogimo, and Bustio, this is their first international land. Um, I think we had a lot of fun. There's just so many takeaways when you come to events like this. Even from uh, the bus rides, you can learn stuff. Even from meeting the locals here, you can learn stuff. And certainly in the server, we learn a lot of stuff. So we're gonna try to be sponges here and just absorb as much as we can. And when we get home, we'll try to talk about it and be learners that's one good thing about this group guys is we they're all students of the game and that's really exciting for us for the rest of the year thank you thank you thank you are there any other questions from the remote media for eg eg thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today thank you thank you
Hello, we are joined by Talon who are coming off of their victory from EG. Please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question and then we will call on you. Let us begin with Brandon from esports.gg. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on the win, guys. Um, I'll ask this to Garnett's, and if Jit Boys wants to chime in, he can. Um, you know, on the first match against MIBR, you guys didn't do bad, um, but it wasn't a spectacular outing from the two of you. But in this game against Evil Geniuses, you were both at the top of the leaderboard in each map against them. I would just like to ask what kind of confidence you gained from the first match against MIBR that allowed you guys to perform like you did against Evil Geniuses. อ่าคําถามนี้นะครับสําหรับอ่าการเนี่ยนะครับแต่ถ้าเกิดจิตบอยอยากตอบด้วยก็ได้นะครับอ่าจะก็จากเพอร์ฟอร์แมนซ์
่าช่วยบอกความรู้สึกหน่อยครตอนใส่เนี่ยมันรู้สบายแล้วก็ทําให้รู้สึกมีความมั่นใจมากขึ้นไหมครับก็กางเกงมันบางครับมันทําให้แบบว่าช่วงล่างของเรามีความสบายอากาศได้ดีครับก็เป็นส่วนหนึ่งที่ทําให้เราโฟกัสกับเกมได้ดีขึ้นครับ So the elephant trousers is like very very comfortable for us to wear and and like so that make us make make a quite good performance when we played. Wow, awesome! Thank you. Okay, we'll go next to uh, Roldy from Agente s i n l i n e a No, I think Roldy put his hand down. Hi guys. Oh, go ahead. Uh, okay. Congrats for the win, guys. Uh, this one is for Cruz. Uh, you guys have defeated two America's teams without even dropping a map yet. Uh, do you think there's a reason, and uh, maybe in their play style, or, or I don't know, but a reason for you guys uh, matching uh, so well against uh, these teams? Um, I think we've had the preparation coming into the game, and we had a lot of practice and scrims, and where we played a lot of stronger teams, I'd say, in scrims. So we kind of know what to do, and we just had to adapt on the fly, which I think today we did re really well because I chose to change the composition just to play against them because they, I think they kind of read, they kind of rewatch our vods. So I just wanted to move away from what they have seen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go next to Michael Zar from Upcomer. Yeah, so this will also be for Cruz. Obviously, uh, with this win, uh, you'll be facing DRX next. You know, your a fellow Pacific Region uh, team. Uh, what are your thoughts about the matchup heading into it? Um, the game is going to be tough. Uh, we've played against them a couple of times, and they have done better than us. So we're just going to use the experience we have had that we've played against them, scrim against them, try to use it to our advantage, and try to win. Thanks. We'll go next to uh, Isabella Torres. Oh, sorry, I forgot to change my name. But my question is for Fox. <laughs> so many people have rated the Americas League as the best one, but on the other hand, you and DRX have just beaten great teams from that league without resounding victories. So my question would be: In your experience at the Lockin and what you have seen so far of the tournament, you, do you really believe that Americas is the best best region in the world? อ่าก็สำหรับคำถามนี้สำหรับฟ็อกซ์นะครับและก็หลายๆคนเนี่ยเขาพูดกันว่าโซนอเมริกาเนี่ยเป็นโซนที่ว่ามีทีมที่ดีที่สุดในโลกฮะแต่ว่าจากทั้งเพื่อฟ็อกซ์จากการแข่งขันในวันนี้เนี่ยทั้ง DRX แล้วก็ทั้งทีมของทารอนเนี่ยสามารถเอาชนะทีมจากโซนนั้นนะมาได้ทั้งสองทีมเลยนะฮะอ่ารู้สึกยังไงบ้างครับกับการที่ทุกคนพูดว่าทีมโซนอเมริทีมที่ที่เราแข่งวันนี้เนี่ยเป็นทีมที่ดีที่สุดในโลกครับเอ่อจริงๆแล้ว N A ไม่ใช่โซนที่ดีสุดในโลกครับถ้าอยากให้ N A เป็นโซนที่ดีสุดในโลกทารอนต้องอยู่ N A ครับ So here is Fox answer uh, To be honest he think that N A is not one of the best uh, region that have the, that have the best team So if if N A want to be like one of the best region you you should have Talon in in the, those region <laughs> Thank you Uh, and I believe this will be the last question. Uh, we'll go to Soldier from BLR. All right, hello. Uh, this question is for Cruz. So, uh, what are the X10, Zerxia, or Talon? Uh, the team has already has always had a good eye for duelists, such as Patty, Surf, and Garnets. Uh, how is the team consistently able to find like these high-value duelists out of Thailand? Um, I think in in the zone in our region, there's a lot of talent, and I think it's it's just everywhere. We just need to pick the right ones. I have. Mechanically, I think we are more gifted in the Asian region, so I think it's an easy pickup, and we got a lot of good guys there. Thank you. I think this was the last uh, question from the press conference. Talon, congratulations on your victory. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.